guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today, it's all about finding the missing terms in each arithmetic sequence. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 2 of our video. The part 1 of our video class is we have example like this in which the given terms, the consecutive terms are given. So example 3, 12, and 21. So these are consecutive terms. First term, second term, third term. They are given. So it's easy for us to find the common difference by simply subtracting the second term minus the first term, so 12 minus 3, that is 9. Third term minus the second term, 21 minus 12, that's still 9. So the common difference is 9. So if we have given two consecutive terms, so it's easy for us to get the common difference. Example, for number 2, so we have the first term, sec second term is unknown. We have the third term and fourth term. So to get the common difference, subtract 29 by 20. So 29 minus 20, and the common difference is 9. So if the example is like this, it's easy for us to find the common difference. Now, what if we have an example like this? So what will be the thing that we will do? Alright, so we will be answering this one. We will answer answer 1 to 5 and then you try 6 and 7. Okay? So the thing that you will do to answer this one is you need to use the formula. So what will be the formula? There will be a sub n equals the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So this a sub n, the general term, this will be the last term, okay, the last given term, that would be a sub n. And a sub 1, this is the first term, plus n is the number of terms, minus 1 times the common difference. Alright, so let's answer number 1. So a sub n will be the last term. This will be 39 equals a sub 1, this will be the first term, the first term is 3, plus n is the number of terms, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we have 5 terms, minus 1, minus 1 plus 1, minus 1 is already in the formula, times d. So we need to get the common difference. Alright, so next step is we need to copy 39 equals, so minus this one, 5 minus 1, so copy 3, plus 5 minus 1 is 4, then copy d. Alright, so next step is we need to multiply. Once again, follow PEMDAS. Multiplication comes first before addition. So this will be 39 equals 3. Then 4 times D. This will be 4D. So plus 4D. So to get the value of D, you need to isolate D. So you transpose 3 from right to left. We can transpose D from right to left. Or, okay, or you can add both sides by negative 3. Okay, so you can add both sides. Let's do the, the two two solutions last to solve for D. So some students, they will use it this one. Okay, addition property of equality. You can add both sides by negative 3 or subtract both sides by, neg by, by 3. Subtract both sides by 3 or negative 3. So add both sides by negative 3. You can cancel this out. So this will be 39 minus 3. This will be 36 equals 4D. So you can do the solution this way. You can have the solution or you can just simply transpose. Most of my students, they will use the transpose. So you can just simply transpose 3 from right to left. This is positive. It will be negative. So transpose 3 from right to left. This will be. This is positive. You will change the sign. Always remember, once you transfer an equation from this equal sign, you always change the sign. So this will be 39. This is positive. It will be negative. Minus 3 equals 4D. Then 39 minus 3, that is 36, equals 4D. To get the value of D, divide both sides by 4. So divide both sides by 4, 4. So our D is equals to 36 divided by 4, that would be 9. 9 equals D, or D is equals 9, that would be the same plus D equals 9. That is the same. 9 equals D, or D equals 9. So the common difference is 9. So therefore, the common difference is 9, so we will, na we will now add 9 to 3, so plus 9, the common difference is 9, so 3 plus 9, that would be 12. And then 12 plus 9, so let me just put red color so that you will not be confused, plus 9, then 12 plus 9, this will be 21, and 21 plus 9, this will be 30. And 30 plus 9, this will be 39. So therefore, our answer is correct. So that's how you find class. You just need to use the formula. Alright, so let's answer number 2. 
So you pause the video for you to really understand this one. Let's answer number two. So for number two class, we don't have the first term. Check number two class, we don't have the first term. We have the second term. So first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. We have the second term and the fifth term. So what would you think that we will do? So we don't have the first term. We only have the second term and the fifth term. Fifth, fifth term. So the thing that we will do is we will, we will be using this 10 as our first term. And this 4 will be our last term. Okay? Once again, if you don't have the value of the first term, we will be using this 10 as our first term. And 4 will be our last term. Now the number of terms will be only 4 terms. So this will be our first term. So we just need, need, need to neglect this one. Neglect this missing term and the last term. So use this. 10 as our first term going to 4. So 10 will be our first term and 4 will be our last term. Now the number of terms will be 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So our, our n, instead of 6, we have 6 terms. We just use 4 since we use this 10 as our first term and 4 will be our last term. Alright, so a sub n, this will be our last term. So that we can get the common difference, we just use this 4 as our last term and 10 will be our first term. So a sub n will be 4 equals the first term is 10 plus n is the number of terms. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 since we just used this part. So we have 4 minus 1 times d. Alright, so this will be 4, the last term equals the first term is 10 plus 4, 4 minus 1 is 3 times d. Alright, so 3 times t, this will be 4, equals 10, plus 3 times d, that would be 3d. Alright, to get the value of d, transpose 10 from right to left. Okay, transpose 10 from right to left. This will be 4, this is positive, it will be negative 10, equals 3d. Alright, change the sign class. Always remember, do not forget to change the sign. So 4 minus 10... Okay, 4 minus 10, this will be negative 6 equals 3D. To get the value of D, divide both sides by 3. Divide both sides by 3. So therefore, okay, therefore, our D is equals to, D is equals to negative 2. 6, negative 6 divided by 3, that's negative 2. Alright, so therefore, our common difference is negative Alright, so 10 minus 2, let's check these terms. Right, so 10 minus 2, this will be, the common difference is negative 2. 10 minus 2, this will be 8. 8 minus 2, this will be 6. 6 minus 2, of course, that's 4. And 4 minus 2, this will be positive 2. Therefore, this one, this will be 12, right? Because 12 minus 2, this is 10. So this will be 12. Minus 2, this will be 10. Alright, so we're done with number 2. Let's try number 3. Alright, so we don't have the first term, second term, we have the third term and the fifth term. Once again, we will be using this third term as our first term and 60 will be our last term. And the number of terms, instead of 5, we just use 3 so that we can get the common difference. For our n, we just use 3. So this will be the terms that we will be using. Alright, so use the formula. The last term will be 60 equals the first term will be 42 plus n so instead of five terms we will be using three terms since we use this terms 42 and 60 42 going to 60 so three terms 42 1 2 3 3 minus 1 so that's the thing that you will do because always remember this one that's this is the thing that you will do if you don't have the value of your first term so you adjust you make this as your first term and this number will be your last term and just count the number of terms from this first term up to the last term. So 3, 1, 2, 3. 3 minus 1 and then D. So this is 60. The last term equals the first term, 42, plus 3 minus 1. That is 2 times D. So this will be 2D. So copy. 60 equals 42. 2 times D. That's positive 2D. So to get the value of 2D, isolate 2D, you transpose 42 from right to left. And of course, it will change the sign. So this will be 60 minus 42 
equals 2D. So 60 minus 42, with that subtract. Okay, this will be ten, uh, 5, borrow 1. This will be 10, 8, 18. So this will be 18 equals 2D. So to get the value of D, divide both sides by 2. Alright, divide both sides by 2. So cancel this out, and our D, 18 divided by 2 is 9. Alright, so our D is equals to 9. 9 equals D or D equals 9. That's the same class. So our D is equals to 9. So let's try to check. If we add 9 here, 42 plus 9, 42 plus 9, that would be 51. And 51 plus 9, of course, that's 60. So what would be the number here? So that if we will be adding 9, we get 42. Of course, we can do reverse. We subtract 42 by 9. So, 42 minus 9, this will be, what will be the answer class? 33, right? Because 33 plus 9, that would be 42. So, what will be this number class? Okay, we subtract it by 9. So, 33, the common difference is 9. So, 33 minus 9, we do reverse since we need to get the number before 33. So, 33 minus 9, that would be 24. Let's try to check. 24 plus 9, of course, that's 33. 33 plus 9, that's 30, 42. Alright, so let's try number 4. So, since we don't have the first term and second term, same with number 3. So, we will be using this one as our first term. And this one will be our last term. So, the general term, this will be a sub n. So, 3... I'm oh, sorry, the, la the last term will be negative 11. Alright, so this will be negative 11 equals the first term is 3 plus n will be number of terms 1, 2, 3. Since we have, we only use these terms. So first term, second term, third term. So 3. We will be using this particular term class since we don't have the first term. So we have 3 instead of 5 terms for n, we just use 3 since we use these terms. So 3 minus 1, this will be multiplied by D. So negative 11 equals 3 plus 3 minus 1, that's 2, multiplied by D. So negative 11 equals 3, 2 times D, that's positive 2D. Then isolate, transpose 3 from right to, le to left. This is positive, it will be negative. So negative 11 minus 3 equals 2D. So combine like terms. If it's negative, negative, simply copy negative sign, then add 11 plus 3, that's 14, equals 2D. So to get the value of D, divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2. So our D is equals to negative 14 divided by 2, that's negative. 7 equals D, or D equals negative 7. Alright, so negative 7. So therefore... This is negative 7. So negative 7, 3 minus negative 7. So let me just erase this one. We pause the video class. This is negative 7. Alright, so 3 minus negative 7. 3 minus 7 or 3 minus 7, that's negative 4. This will be negative 4. And negative 4 minus 7, of course, negative 4 minus 7, negative 4 minus 7, this will be negative 11. So what will be the number class? If you, sub, if you subtract it by 7, you get 3. Of course, that would be 10, right? Because 10 minus 7, okay, 10 minus 7, of course, that's 3. Alright, so 10 minus 7 is 3. What would be this next number? If you subtract it by 7, you will get 10. Subtract it by 7, you will get 10. Of course, this will be 17, right? Because 17 minus 7 is 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 7 is negative 11. Alright, so you try to answer class number 5, 6, 7. I think, you're, I think you're good in it. So you try to answer 5, 6, 7. Instead of 6, 7, you just try 5, 6, 7. So that will be the thing that you will do for number 5. This will be your first term. Same with number 5 and number 1 are actually the same pattern. Okay, You have the first term and the last term. So you just use this formula. Once again, a sub n will be the last term. a sub 1 will be the first term. 
and then n and their n it will be the number of terms so since we have the first term and last term so n our n will be one two three four five n will be five all right so you instead of six and seven you try to answer class five six seven i'm sure that you're you're good at you're good at it all right so once again this is teacher mj you have a great day i hope you learned something new today and you have a great day goodbye for now bye bye do not forget to like share and subscribe and you share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help them. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.